welcome back to Streaming Rainbow. Uh, if you've been sitting with us the whole time, welcome to uh, episode four of the second season of Welcome to Gillyton, um, where you don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't think anybody knows what's going to happen. And that's really fun. I know exactly oh, what's going to happen. Showbiz, baby. <laughs> Hey, yes, and motherfuckers, uh, here we go. Um, so uh, <laughs> let's just get into it. Uh, but first, before we do that, let me introduce my players. As always, uh, we have got David as Tez. We have got Cameron as Waterloo Sunset. We have got Sarah as Kaylee. And as always, we have Jess as Snips. All right. And last one, we were all together. Um Wow, guys. Uh, so uh, things. Uh, there was um, uh, there was a stealth mission to town hall uh, with a, a really uh, murderous horse um, who just he kept trying to be. He kept trying to be hypnotizing, and just all these normal ass people were just not having it, and so he resorted to violence. Um, uh, Tez. Uh, broke into the mayor's office while trying to knock the mayor unconscious. Uh, mayor ended up getting trampled to death. Um, oops. Oh, well. Um, a uh, a lockbox was found in a wall safe. Um, a desk was kicked out of a window, crushing uh, Isha and uh, Kara, the night hag. Um, and a, a large metal door with runes was found in the basement. It smelled a lot like sulfur and rotten eggs. Gross. Um, that room was uh, opened with our uh, expert uh, lock pick. And uh, it, for a second, for some, it seemed like there might be something off about this room. Uh, but then everyone realized it's just a storage closet. That's weird. Uh, Snips found some delicious um, uh, Jordan almonds and those weird uh, butter mints that are at every wedding. It's bad. Um, and uh, yeah, then everybody headed out to back to the cottage for a conversation. Um, Waterloo took a slight detour to try to have a conversation with Tez's mother um, to awaken her. That didn't seem to go well. She seems very panicky about that and wants him to leave. Um, and, well, I mean, that being said, uh, the night ended with uh, Waterloo almost dying, uh, now tied up, manacled, gagged, everything on the ground with Tez and Coatley uh, keeping watch and Kaylee snips and Isha having just kind of like a lovely little sleepover and a nice, a nice hang. Um, so I was being wowed by coin tricks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kaylee showing off her dexterity. Just living. <laughs> um, and just having a, a, having a little bit of a heart to heart with, uh, uh, with, with Isha, this very empathetic, uh, druid, um, it's kind of nice. A little bit, a little bit calm energy from Isha to counteract a lot of things. Um, so we will start that night. Um, and uh, uh, I believe the plan was that before we get started, that Waterloo was going to take a short rest while he is hogtied, basically. Mm -hmm. um, but Tez was not going to sleep. He was going to uh, keep watch the entire time. Is yeah, I do. Yeah. Uh, does, can you short, can you, according to the D DM's guide and the player's handbook, mm -hmm. is being hogtied with your arms and legs together behind your back, resting on your belly, an hour of restful activity? Restful? Um, I don't think it is. <laughs> so. Well, you're not Waterloo Sunset. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. <laughs> We don't kink shame. You here. don't think this boy has been out in the desert, <laughs> hog tied like a little piggy? You no, don't I think mean, he's, he's had a restful night's sleep after getting Billy railed Jim. in that position and left there for three Yikes. days? Yikes. My boy is Yikes. good. Yikes. This is nothing. 
I go on. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sleeping. You're okay. one of my favorite people, Cameron. <laughs> Just saying. So Toss that out there. <laughs> <laughs> Love you for that. Love Great. that for you. <laughs> energy is happening right now. All right. Go, baby. Yikes. Uh, okay. Um, so, so, <laughs> so uh, that night, uh, we will start with Kaylee. Uh, as you are sleeping in an unfamiliar bed, but um, it it has this um the, the smell of patchouli isn't there but it has this like this very uh a calming herbal scent that like just pervades the the home of this apartment um so you fall into what probably feels like the first like restful sleep like easier sleep than you've had in quite a while since you've become aware of everything here in Gillyton. Um, you open your eyes and you're back on a rooftop in Hutch. Once again. <laughs> um, everything's, everything's fuzzy. It is that weird dream state. So, but again, this is very familiar uh, as you've you've had more experience with this lately um and you look over and there he is once again Taraf. he is looking uh he's he is looking more tired than you were than he looked the last time like he's actually looking kind of worn out and like he's had a just the shittiest night's sleep and he looks over at you and go just goes oh okay so this sure this this can this this might as well also be happening what's up how are what's going on how are you? Here I am again, the living embodiment of your guilt. Here to make your sleep troubled. Make sure that you don't get any rest of the heart tonight. <laughs> He's going to roll a wisdom saving throw at that. <laughs> yeah, okay. He just kind of laughs, but with like a sigh of like, yeah, yeah, no, you're not wrong. Um, are you still stuck in that weird place? As weird as ever, maybe weirder. What do you mean? Ah, uh, there was a horse. There was a whole thing. It was, it was a weird day. It was a weird day. Ah, uh, but. Why do we keep meeting like this? What is it? What is the... What godforsaken infernal creature is linking us up in our brains like this? Because I don't see it being a benefit to you or to me. I'm not helping you. You're not helping me. You know, I mean, I don't think you're far off with the uh, punishment thing, honestly. So, I mean, this could just be purely to make me feel like shit, which I deserve. Um, yeah, you do. You do. Yeah. Yeah. Horse? Anyway. I, yeah, horse. Yeah. Broke yeah. into a city hall. It was. It was. A, it was a day. I didn't know they could do that. Hmm. So, yeah, I don't know why we're. If you could talk to anybody, who would you want to talk to? If it was obviously, it's not me. If I talk to, don't try to make this about me. There's. <laughs> You're the one who asked the question.
I don't know, someone with an encyclopedic knowledge of weird demi-planes and shit so that they can help me figure out how to get out. That's who. Someone useful. Do you know anybody with an encyclopedic knowledge of demi-planes? Because I sure don't. Well, could you fucking find one and bring them here? I dropped it. I'm going to try again. <laughs> I just got a little excited, guys. <laughs> he kind of sits back at that. And... I mean, yeah. I mean, I could find somebody. You know, that's... There's plenty of... Libraries and... Smart people everywhere. Hmm. Well, that's uh, that's the difference between you and me. Not any smart people? <laughs> yeah, not really. <laughs> not in this town. Demi plane. Anything changed? Anything? And any besides the crazy horse? I mean, is there any clues? Any? There was. There's a door that was hot for a moment and it was I mean like it was clearly like set up as a door to hell right um, and then when you open it it was just a storage closet but like it felt weird at first so maybe something up like that because it sure looks like a door to hell I'll tell you that um, so it's a little suspicious when it's not you know you know does that make sense it's like if like if, if you were if you were making a storage closet and you had a bunch of gold and shit, would you be like, I'm gonna make this look like the door to hell? Hmm. I mean, to be fair, everything you've told me about whatever the fuck is happening for you doesn't make any sense. But in a way it does because it doesn't make sense. It's exhausting. It's truly exhausting. I'm so sorry. Um listen. Hot door, storage closet. I might be able to find somebody. The question is getting them here in this weird. I don't go for that weird, like divination psychic bullshit, but uh, I could try. I mean, This kind of just happens. You, I just wake. What I, I just open my eyes and I see you. Like it's not like I planned this. Yeah. But maybe someone who's an expert in demi planes would know how to do that sort of thing. Yeah. Tell you what, kid. I think I know. I know where to start. I know where to start looking. Let me see what I can find. And if I can't bring them, I'll try to bring answers. Deal? One condition. All right. Call me kid again and I'll put a knife in your throat. Listen, you should have done it before now. Surprise you haven't. But deal. All right. Old habits, I apologize. Anyway. Right. How do we remove ourselves from this awkward... I jump off the roof. <laughs> uh, roll me a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> That's you a way. You know what I'm great at. I know. <laughs> These fucking wisdom saving throws. Hey, look at zero. Uh, roll me, uh, roll me a dexterity check. <laughs> that that I can do. I know. <laughs> <laughs> or I would if the die was not 
Oh no! I got an eight. I did try to give you something. <laughs> Kaylee's dice are assholes, guys. <laughs> uh, truly, the dice have a story to tell. And that is Kaylee waking up in the middle of the night, just face planted directly into the floor. Just like <laughs> she had, th- she threw herself off of the bed and just now has a, a slight head energy- injury. And you take like, a point of just bludgeoning damage (laughs) as you hit your head on the floor. Ouch. (laughs) Ouch. I crawled back into bed. (laughs) Or couch or whatever I'm on. You were in a bed. Yeah, there was a room for you. There's (laughs) the, yeah. Um, Okay, Snips. You uh, go to sleep in... uh, I feel like I feel like Isha and Tez would have like made you something like something like a nest, like a fa- they would have helped you like build a place to like that is your place in this pillows and blankets and trinkets. Yeah, exactly. Like like a like a some kind of like closet space or it's somewhere that you could... closet. Yeah, yeah. So it's like it's like the towel closet. Or the linen yes, closet the that linen we just closet. turned into the bottom, yeah, the bottom yeah, part of a linen closet. One. That yeah, that's yeah, exactly. So yeah, so this you are the nicest house he's ever had. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you have curled up, um, safe and sound, uh, in your, uh, in Harry in Potter your closet. little in your Harry Potter closet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Listen, it's so cute. Mine was voluntary though. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. No. Also, so size fine. appropriate. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Not child abuse. Also, yeah, not a no. child. I'm not uh, a child. I'm a grown ass man. <laughs> <laughs> Never not going to be the funniest joke of Gillyton is Snips being a full grown adult, grown ass man. Yeah. yeah. Um. So, uh, you, um, you wake up not in your nest of blankets and pillows, but in tall soft grass i mean tall for you and you feel a soft breeze blowing and um this feels very familiar this feels like home um and you hear a voice kind of softly humming to themselves and it's snails it's a very familiar sound your big your big brother my big hobgoblin brother your big hobgoblin <laughs> brother snails just kind of humming to himself and kind of looks over and goes oh are you awake yeah hi how are you doing i'm good i'm good what are you doing oh i i think i was sleeping oh oh sorry no it's okay no i i I missed you oh i miss you too and he kind of holds his arm out to like come and like sit with him I've snuggled in <laughs> in the grass. <laughs> you know, I I've been hanging out with with the wild mum, and um, yeah. she she let me. She said she said that she's trying she's trying to help you, and uh, but she doesn't quite know how because you it's hard to it's hard to find you sometimes. Like there's this like stuff in the way. So I just, but she got, she got, she could sneak me here. I, so I snuck. Good. So. Yeah. Um, she mentioned before that it's hard to find me. Does she know why? Oh, she says it's just like you're, you're not in the place you're supposed to be. And there's like. It's just like you're just in a different place, like you're like a different level. Weird levels. Am I on the demon level? 
Uh, no, no, the other, the other one with the circles. The not the demons. The that's the big, the big one. This the the you're on the one that's le levels. And there's a. Uh, my brain is too small for this information, snails. It's same. Same, same, honestly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We used to talk about mushrooms and stuff. What is this? I don't. How's I your don't... mushrooms? How's your mushrooms doing? My Are they all right? Fine. I don't <laughs> have any more growing in. It's still oh. just these. Oh. Hey. Yeah. Hot place. Hot. Hot place with lots of levels. I don't know. She, uh, but you all right? Are you all right? Well, yeah, it doesn't seem like I'm full of a hot place full of devils. I'm mm. with my, all my friends. Good. And, um, are they making it seem like this place is nice and it's actually bad? Because I have friends that don't want to leave because this is nicer than where they came from. And I'm starting to think that's a lie. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta see. <laughs> Did you break his brain? Oh, no. <laughs> you didn't break his brain. He rolled a 17, a natural I'm 17. So, so proud of him. Um, he kind of like... I don't really understand anything what she tells me. Sometimes she uses words that are way too big. Does she smart? I just kind of nod and yeah. smile. Yeah. Yeah. I think, though, that it's real important that you don't be there much longer. Okay. I have friends with bigger brains than me. And I may not know answers to these things, but I know how to relay information. And I know I can do that. I'm pretty sure. I think. She, she was also saying that it might be... Well, no. It is definitely someone else's fault that you're there. But she couldn't figure out why or how. And she asked me if there was anyone what didn't like you. And I had to think. And I could only think of that right asshole spine. Yeah. Is there anybody else? He's the only one I would think of. You know, he used to hang me from trees and stuff. He's not nice. No. His dad was mean too, but he just became the worst. Yeah. Which is why I left as soon as you came back. Yeah. But I don't know. Spine always used to make weird deals with the Sky Reaches when they come to town too. Hmm. Do you remember the time he found the dynamite and he put it in our hole? We had to move. And it was not nice. No. No, he was not nice. I do not like him. So, I mean, if it was anybody, it'd probably be Spine. Well, I'll talk to him. I'll tell I'll tell I'll tell Wild Mum. I'll tell Wild Mum about that. Okay. But I don't know. I don't know what he could do. I don't know. He was a... He was a... I was about to use a really bad word. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I'm dead doesn't mean I can't <laughs> say the bad words. <laughs> can't do it. No, no. Anyway. I don't know if I told you, hmm. but... I have, um, I think a family now. No. Yeah. No. Like a real one. That's like with a, like a mom and a dad. 
That's amazing. Yeah. What's they like? Um, my dad is uh strong and brave and he keeps me in a knapsack thing. Right. In a good way, in a good way. I don't have to walk everywhere, which is nice. That is nice. I wish it's nice. It's nice. I wish yeah. I wish that they made knapsacks big enough for Rob Goblins. That would be something that I should look into for the sake of other Rob Goblins. You couldn't carry me. No, I couldn't carry you, but you could carry me. That's true. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah, want to yeah. be carried in all in a in a knapsack though. Anyway, yeah. what's your mum like? Wild mum. She's so much like wild mum. Oh, it's she's... crazy. She's one of those fancy elves that changes with the weather. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <She broke> me. <laughs> I fucking love Aladrids. Not wrong. <laughs> You're not wrong. She changes with the weather. Wow. That's great. <laughs> That's great. I bet she, I bet, well, unless it's the cold one. She's not the cold one, is she? Not that I've seen. If they she's, go... the, she's the uh, autumn-y one. Uh, if they, if they's the cold one, are they cold? Like, do they cold, are they, uh, that hurts my brain. <laughs> <laughs> They're cold all the time. They're, They're cold... useful in summertime, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is I do miss else? you. Oh, I miss you. I miss you so much. But I'm so glad because you need a f you need a family. It's I'm nice. Sorry. They give me all kinds of snacks. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I had to go. It's not your fault. Well, I'm a big brother. I should have stayed. But it's I'm glad. I'm glad. Well, and maybe well, you know, while mum works in mysterious ways so you know maybe maybe if you come back you can still find the you know you can still be with them i hope she'll so find, she'll find a way yeah um, well i love it, you i love you is yeah. there anything else you want to like try to like break <laughs> snails his brain with okay. oh no i broke it enough <laughs> to be like <laughs> so demons <laughs> Demons, devils. What's Demons, the difference? Devils? Good luck. God, help me out here. Um, uh, just you softness. Yeah, softball. you spend you spend the rest of your dream in a very like calming, like again, it's like a sea of tall grass, like with you know with the sound of like the wind blowing through it and it's just you and snails talking about remembering things and about your new life and being told about hot cheetos um yep. and just all kinds <laughs> of amazing things um and yeah now tez doesn't sleep but waterloo you're do you do you sleep or do you just pass out because of everything? Um, you wake up in <laughs> the cottage. God damn it! <laughs> no, I didn't do. I meant to stay awake. Oh, that stupid <laughs> boy! Oh god damn it! Oh, hi, am I here? Hello. Hey, come on down. No, not you. Anything for you. I'm coming. <laughs> you walk down walk. and into the kitchen and you see the woman uh, in the kitchen uh, pouring two glasses, uh, two, two cups of tea. No, I don't want that, please. Not... Yeah. And I don't want to have a conversation right now. That's, that's too bad. You're going to sit down. Yes, ma'am. I sit down. Puts the tea down. Puts a little plate of like assorted like cookies and crackers and all like tea things. And what? I figured it out. What did you figure out? I figured it all out. I understand now why we can talk to each other like this. Oh. It's all a sick little game, but 
Mm, for a moment I felt alive. And then I read those fucking runes on the wall. If I told what? the others, it would break them. What the hell are you doing? Don't speak to me like that. This is not what you're... This is not who you are. What is up with this? Who am I supposed to be? You hmm? know exactly who you're supposed to be, sunshine. The boring... Don't call me that. And by the way, it's sunset. Mmm... Mm. That's not who you are. I don't have to be it. what you want me to be. Yeah, I, I don't have a deal. Yeah, I'm free. Are you, though? All right, shut the fuck up. Mm. I was. Well, according to you, I'm a figment of your imagination, so... Yes, well, I was wrong. I can be wrong, okay? That's the beauty of being Waterloo Sunset. I can be wrong. You... Could have been wrong before. You were wrong oh many times. If, shut the fuck up! <laughs> what are you doing? Well, right now I'm drinking tea with you, aren't I? Then I'll go over there and kick Dragon Boy's ass. What are you doing? Stop it! Stop it! Stop asking me the question! I've answered it! You, ha you haven't, and you know you haven't. It's what are you doing? Look, I get it. You're some sort of... Ah! What I want. I'm doing what I want. And I will keep doing what I want until the day I die. Are you being true to who you are? No, I'm not. Because who I am is boring and depressing. That's not what a lot of people think. I don't care Why? a lot people think. I care about what I think when I look in the mirror and I see who I want to be and I see all the years I've wasted dedicated to you and your stupid little hut and your dead little hag body. So, shut the fuck up! What are you doing? I'm having fun. Are you? Because it no. looks like you're in the midst of an, an unending crisis where you cannot possibly escape. Oh, I can and the escape. Only all right. Just watch me. That's a fucking challenge, woman. I can't stop you. I know. I know you can't stop me. And you also can't guilt me into this shit because I've been doing that for hundreds of fucking goddamn, what do you call them, years or. Passes of the rotation and the. Are so you see, getting? Are you getting anything out of this behavior? Truly, maybe. maybe. Uh, what are you getting? What possibly are you getting out of this behavior? An escape, some time off, a vacation. But what are you paying? So much. So much, darling. I'm paying so much, but I've done it this far. Why not keep going? Because the cost is too high at this point. You can have a break it's, it's with at, without dead. the sake. You're right. Don't follow me. You can't tell me what to do. Let me make my own choices. Let me make my own mistakes. You brought me here. I understand that, and I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to him. What are you going to do? I don't know, but he's becoming you. And if he becomes you, then what's the next step, darling? <laughs> the next step is... You saw the next step. Mm-hmm. And if you don't want it, leave it. I did. No, you didn't. No, I you didn't. You got scooped up. I did. You didn't. You literally named your fancy little fake place after literally the hut. It's ironic. No, it's not, kid. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> oh, no. It's fine. It's fine. I have a plan. I have a plan. 
I have a plan. And it will Do you have a bad. plan or is it just more di more destruction? Those two things can be the same thing. <laughs> Do you have a plan that is not destruction and suffering for more than just yourself? What you want to be my you want me to be my true self? I you want me to protect want, these people? I think you want to be your true self. I want these people. I want to go out with a bang. God damn it. Okay, if you're going to go out with a bang, do it with your real face. Let's go. You've given me an idea. Uh, Still going to be a stupid dragon boy. Listen, go for it, but he's way stronger than you are. Ha 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 ha. I have faith in you, and I know that in the end, you will do the right thing, as annoying and boring as you think that is. Be gone, witch. Be gone. What are you doing? Be gone, witch. And <laughs> you jerk in your <laughs> eyes. Fucking <laughs> God. Damn it. <laughs> Let me <Yes>. go. <laughs> <laughs> you, Tez, you saw, you saw Waterloo just having some sort of fit <laughs> in his dream. <laughs> just like, you're and not now he's like a, a wet cat, to be honest. <laughs> so. Just do like a little whistle. Ah. Uh, I'm just going to start screaming into my okay. thing until you take it out. Come up. Okay. I yeah. won't take it out. <laughs> just scream around the floor. Okay. I wait for everybody to come. <laughs> and I make their drinks for them uh, when, I th when they're going to come. So uh, Snips gets like, I don't know, just literally sugar and hot chocolate hot chocolate with sprinkles <laughs> and like there. extra pumps of vanilla or something i would like a i would like you a don't tall... have to describe these drinks where am i <laughs> you're right here you're on the floor in the middle of the cottage hog tied okay great the second you go behind the goddamn bar i turn into a bear and this bear <laughs> is brown and it has a leather fucking daddy vest on and it has one of those sir caps all black and i turn around and i stand on two wigs and i wink at you and then i dash out the fucking door he runs all right um so uh uh what is your bear speed 40 40 uh, Tez, do you go after the bear that just ran out of the cottage? Uh, no. All right, you let him Hell go. Hell yes. Okay. Um. Uh. Do you do anything? Do you? Or are you just gonna wait for everybody else? Yeah, I'm just gonna make the drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Amazing. Um. Uh. Uh, I think everyone else was kind of heading that way. Um, so um, go ahead, uh, uh, Waterloo, go ahead and roll me. Um, just roll me a d20. Um, we're just going to see if you miss everybody. 11. Um, okay. So uh, as, as you as a bear are running um which where are you running which i'm running to the fountain running to the fountain okay yeah. all right um as you are running um uh uh isha snips and kaylee you guys are now up and you're heading to the cottage uh so kaylee and snips you see a bear um which seems out of place. Um, so if either one of you would like to try to roll insight on what this might be, it doesn't look like 
any kind of animal shape that you've seen. You've seen Waterloo turn into an animal. I mean, it, it looks look like, like a bear in a BDSM vest, yeah? <laughs> it, it is a leather okay. daddy bear, yeah. yes. <laughs> so that's, yeah. the only, that's the only All indication right. that it could be, <laughs> really. Okay. An inappropriately dressed bear. Well, I need to roll inside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that bear is 10. 10. <gasps> That is a natural 20 for a 27. <laughs> Amazing. Kaylee, you are like, that's not what a bear is. It's <laughs> <laughs> not, that's not what that is. Um, uh, uh, Snips, uh, you, you see this and absolutely you're like, what's, what's Waterloo doing? <laughs> Where's he going? Up to you if you would like to announce it or follow, or if you want to check on Tez or whatever, whatever decision you would like to make. I know for a fact that if I'm standing next to Kaylee, I would have said that out loud. I would have been like, where's Waterloo going? <laughs> what's Waterloo doing? Immediately recognizing the bear as Waterloo. Um, Isha watches as well and absolutely like hurries to go into the cottage to make sure that Tez is okay because a bear just ran out of a way. So um, uh, Snips and Kaylee, whatever you would like to do, if you want to follow into the cottage or follow Waterloo, whichever one you'd prefer. <sighs> okay. He's a bear. Um... Could I roll something to see if I get any sort of inkling as to where he's headed? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, go ahead and roll uh, survival. Okay. Like tracking. Perfect. Oh, I'm good at that too. That's a seventeen. Um, you uh, you get the impression that he is running in the same direction that you guys drove yesterday, or drove road. Okay. You were in the van. I was trying to think of like, yeah, there was horses involved. Um, oh, you, you were on a horse. You're going in the same direction that you guys were heading. So he's heading towards Town Hall. Um, and you do know that it, at Town Hall has that weird like brain fountain that makes everyone a little bit fuzzy. fuzzy, fuzzy. He's returning back to the scene of the crime. Uh, whatever. Like, but he's heading gotcha. in that direction. Okay. Yeah. So um, as, as I just hear Kaylee go, he's a, he's a bear. <laughs> Snips is gonna turn to Kaylee and go. He's he's going to the dag fart door. Oh, well. Either that or the Stick River Fountain. You want coffee first? We I can get coffee, coffee first. first. Yeah, I'm coffee. gonna hold Kaylee's hand and walk to the cottage. <laughs> Listen, this is family. This is family. This is truly family. That's, um, that's love. That's, that's love. true love. Yeah. Knowing someone that knowing that someone needs coffee and before they do it, like that is real love. Yeah. yeah. Um, we had a we had a little heart to heart last night, Kaylee. Yeah. You don't need this drama right now. You need coffee first. You don't need, um, you don't need this queen. Let's go get coffee. Isha runs into the cottage <laughs> as a visible sigh of relief when uh, she sees you behind the counter, Tez, and does like a once over of like, okay, oh, yeah, I'm good? fine. I hands her a cup of coffee. Yeah, okay. uh, yeah, I'm good. What what happened? What's going on? Oh, uh, I guess he got enough rest. So he turned into a bear, but and then ran out. So. Okay. You should, know. We, should we be following him? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> truly, what is the use? Um, oh, my God. <laughs> I like I that think... I'm miming drinking out of a mug when I have a mug. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I that's think... Camp, um... baby, that's camp. <laughs> it's called role play. <laughs> Listen, object my space work. work is on point, guys. <laughs> Great object work. Um can I roll a, a really quick while I'm talking to Isha? Can I roll a history check to try to remember Kaylee's insane order? <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> David has no fucking idea. Um, yeah, you said um, it, I've heard it like four times, and I've just my brain goes. 
Well, it's talking. Laura doesn't remember either because every single time I'm triggered in old Starbucks barista um, PTSD. So it's... he said he turns to he turns to Portly and in uh, Draconian says like, "Hey, I know you see everything." <laughs> so get the help action. <laughs> to Cortana. <laughs> Sixteen. Hopefully, it's close. I would say honestly, that's a twenty history check, though. Yeah, but it's still, like a little fucked up. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it is a super complicated thing. So if she was more of a Karen, she could decide to be like yeah. again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm back there doing that, and I'm talking to you. yeah. I think uh, the best tack with Waterloo is. He's kind of a problem that will probably take care of itself if we let him. Um, I think I'm really just focused on trying to get out of here. And it seems like Waterloo doesn't care. But if he doesn't have the stuff that we need, he can't really stop us. And whatever he's doing, I don't know, maybe the cops will shoot him or something. Or they won't. But I still don't. What are cops again? I'm sorry. I'm still having a hard time grasping all this terminology. Um, and... They're like knights, but worse. Um, they have no training or education. Oh, city guards. They're given weapons uh, and a license to kill. C- city guards. Got it. Yeah, but worse. Worse than that? That's mm-hmm. Yeah, because they're really shielded from any sort of accountability. So they get these uh, complexes to act like an invading army as opposed to uh, public servants. City guards are at the very least um, yeah. can be disposed of very easily. I really miss our house in the woods. I really want to go back. <laughs> God. Uh, uh, as So uh, Kaylee snips, you walk in hand in hand. Uh, <laughs> I'll just be like, Kaylee needs coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he says to Kaylee, I did my best. Um, I think I maybe used, I wasn't, I couldn't remember if it was uh, Splenda or the blue packets. So I just like split the difference. Um, sweet so here's low. your, here's your sweet, or sweet and low. So I, I think I, actually, I think sweet low is the pink. Uh, sorry. No, it's again. Equally. Again, I'm having, I'm having equal. equal. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I didn't know if you liked that uh, splendor equal, so uh, I put just like kind of split the difference. It's gonna um, be interesting. All right, thanks. Yeah, I hope you like it. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw too, uh, Waterloo's uh, a bear apparently, which is funny because I always thought he was more of an otter, but yeah, um, he's like a bear in a bear costume. It's I like funny. his little, little jacket, he has a little yeah. hat on too. He does. Yeah. yeah. So um, just, I guess, watch out for that. I don't know. Yeah, you okay. said for the Stick River Fountain and the Egg Fart Door. Yeah, so this is a contract and he pulls it out and then he just explains what he found uh, and what he's like been able to put together and that Tez is, thinks and believes that there might be others in the town that have contracts and we might be able to find out who's the other side of them if we don't uh, let their heads get turned into mush. Well, that kind of sounds like what snails told me in my dreams. Yeah, People, we're in hell, but Yeah, that's what he said, I think. But he said that we weren't in the the big demon place. We were in the place below that. I think we're in a level of hell. We just don't know which one. A circle. Yeah, he said circles. Yeah. He did say circles. Some people call them circles, levels. He also was talking about if we had anybody that didn't like us a whole lot when we were back home. That list is truly super long. But well, yeah, mine's the list not. of people that don't like me and don't like Isha is much shorter. That's good, I guess. Mine's just a nasty goblin. Oh, yeah? What was he like? His name is Spine, and he has warts, and I don't, and I feel like I'm better than him, but he used to beat me up for it. I have clearer skin. You do have beautiful skin for a guy. <laughs> 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 uh, 
And also, I would take mushrooms over warts any day. I appreciate it. Snails taught me how to grow them out of my moldy hair. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <I'll bust. laughs> <She's heavily sized. laughs> She's never wanted to clean a person more. <laughs> but that is um, intrusive. <laughs> those are kind of like your that's kind of like your kids. <laughs> you know that mushrooms are closer to humans than uh, most animals. I believe that. Does that make Spine a... used to say that they used to mess with my brain, and that's why he used to call me stupid. I was going to say, maybe that's why you're so smart. Do... See, this is why you guys are my friends. Do we have mushroom grandchildren? <laughs> I think technically. Haley, are call you me. hated? <laughs> are you hated by a goblinoid? Uh, I am hated by... Or the real... Kaylee, I know we haven't talked very much about the other side. I'm hated by a bunch of town guards and some people who think that their valuables should be a little more secure than they are. And some people in a brothel that I didn't have good relations with and I think that's about it. Hmm. Luckily, I've killed most of the people that hate me. But it's kind of like one of those multiplication problems where every time you kill someone, all the people that care about them now hate you. So that number is pretty big. But again, somebody who is willing to do that to Isha, not a lot. Also, the people that hate me that would be capable of pulling something like this off is very small. So maybe it's not the same person. Maybe it's just various people who have gone to the same entity or person. Yeah. Because it if it's a yeah. demon with a contract, it might be the same demon. Exactly. Like they all made a deal for us to go away. It would take a real real smart demon to get Spine to sign a contract. He doesn't sign anything. He doesn't even know how to write his own name. I'm going to be very honest with you right now, Snips. That's the opposite of what you said is true. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, oh no. uh, unfortunately, they wouldn't have to necessarily sign their name uh, to make bad. a deal with the devil. Yeah, I don't know a lot about demons. I know oh, a lot yeah. about mushrooms and weeds. I, uh, I, I don't. Can I, can I roll like a history check about what I what Tez would in his real life if he could pull something from there? What he knows about demons? Um, roll me a uh, wisdom saving throw. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, that's what we do for the. Yeah, just to see how well yeah, yeah, he yeah, can yeah. handle the. I forgot about that. Okay, plus four. Pretty good. Pretty good. Ooh, twenty three. Natural. Awesome. 19. Okay, perfect. So go ahead and uh, roll that history check. Um, and I'm gonna have Isha give me the help action. Yeah, she's like, she's like hey, do you remember? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And old war stories. So 15 and 18. Hell yeah. Okay. Plus, what was it? History, right? I think History. it's only plus. Yeah, it's a zero. So 18. 18. Okay. Um, so you're wanting to know what experience you've had with like the hells? Yeah, if I know anything about like, uh, uh, like if if what I what we're hypothesizing is even like really possible, right? Like, or if I've heard anything like that of like people going to devils to get like rid of people or something like that. Okay, um, with an eighteen, you've never heard of that scenario, but you've definitely. I mean, obviously, you've heard about people making deals, yeah, with devils. Um, this is this would be by far the weirdest situation you've you've again you've never heard yeah of nothing like this this obviously. kind of weird like demi yeah, yeah. bubble plane um but i will say so with an 18 you're like it's when the, in the absence of answers even things that seem impossible might m quite possibly or could be real so um you're thinking i mean that's not it's maybe it's a road to go down Okay. Um, All right. Yeah. 
So she so turns to Kaylee and uh, uh, Snips. He's like, remember the sheriff, right? He before he was also brutally murdered. Mm -hmm. um, had said that like we didn't understand and that like we would have done the same thing or something. It's almost like there's a um, like a blackmail or a leverage situation going on in there. So maybe I wonder if who else in the town. So oh, has anybody seen Kara? That's probably not good. Um, if anybody wants to roll, anybody there wants to roll. Um, I mean, last time you guys, she disappeared from the front of town. Yeah. Hall, and you guys were um, so if, if anybody who's, I mean, you haven't left the cottage, so you wouldn't have seen her, um, Kaylee and Snips and Isha will roll as well. But if you guys want to roll like, um, like a perception. Yeah. I, that was more like saying aloud, we need to go check on Kara to make sure she's not. That's it. My boss at the bowling alley, the Kenku, Dave, his the Kenku. office. <laughs> His office had a bunch of treasures and stuff. Okay. You guys going to want to go roll up on a bird? See if we can find a contract? Maybe we can steal you a new Game Boy. That would truly be awesome. I very much miss it. I do feel bad about that one. It was a oh, little handheld. It was a beepy game that I used to save his life. A beepy oh. game? You know, like yeah, you a... press buttons and it would beep and then your little things would move. You know, kind of like a TV. It's like a really small, bad TV. What's that... a TV? Oh, is that that weird box that yes. has... The box with the little people in it? And oh, the... I don't turn it on. It's I don't like it. Uh... Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I advise against turning it on. Yeah, probably good not to keep turning it on. Um, yeah, I haven't ever seen it with the little people in it. I've only seen the black box. Yeah. There's little people inside? How do they get out? Can we help Wait, them? Are we in a TV? Probably is what I'm thinking. Um, anyways, I need to go home and shower. I'm very tired and I stink a little bit. Uh, and then can we meet up at the bowling alley maybe for lunch? And mm -hmm. if Waterloo's not dead, I guess one of you can invite him. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. meet you there. Yeah, I, I don't know why he'd go to the Stick River Fountain. Or the egg for a door. I'm really hoping he falls in and just like kind of forgets everything. And then like the problem solves itself, you know? I mean, yeah, it could happen. It could. More likely than you think, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Smash, right, cut. Wanna... <laughs> <laughs> Smash cut. Smash um, cut. Um uh, actually, uh Smash Cut. <laughs> uh Waterloo, you run frantically until you realize you're not <laughs> being chased at all <laughs> there <laughs> some people are stopping and staring like why is that bear wearing what he's wearing like i don't <laughs> i like that what they're what they're wondering about is what he's wearing rather than <laughs> why is there a fucking bear in our hey house? listen <laughs> it's been true mayhem for the past indeterminate amount of time. Uh, there's been a so whole zoo of animals running around this listen, town. There was a bear with like a weird haircut for a while. Like there's yeah. there's been weirder bears. There's just another bear. That's strange. There's been weirder bears. There's been weirder bears. Bear um, enough. <laughs> there was a there was two fucking horses that just ran through town um <laughs> with a man with long hair. <laughs> Somebody said the other day, Lady Godiving it, which is very funny mm, to imagine of tense. Yes. <laughs> Love it. Anyway, um, so uh yeah, so you head uh towards uh city, the 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 town square, um, and you make your way to the fountain. Yes. What do you do? Well, if nobody's following me, no one's following I think you. I start I circle the fountain a couple times, like trying to like make a little noise and like look around to see if anybody's there. And then I kind of like get upset that nobody followed me. 
<laughs> and I kind of just like sit there for like 30 minutes like as a bear just like plop down and just like wait and just like a- any like noise I hear I'm like hmm? 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 <laughs> <laughs> just like paw at the dirt a little bit <laughs> just, like, cry for help <laughs> make a wisdom saving throw <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> you, listen you're the one sitting there being sad uh, a twenty-two. You're like you are. You're just pouting at this point. Is, you you that's... hear you as you're sitting there. You do hear echoing in your brain. What are you gonna do? Shut the fuck up. Uh, I'm gonna drop the bear form. I'm just gonna okay. be Waterloo, standing here for a second. I think I look at my reflection in the fountain, and I spit at it. And then I'm going to cast a cantrip. Okay. Before I cast the cantrip, I'm going to have a conversation. I'm going to say a little message. Okay. 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 He just like looks up at this guy and says, fine, you win. Okay. But if you're going to come back, you got to know a few things, motherfucker. I lied to them. I lied about the runes, and nobody's ever going to know where in hell we are. So good luck with that. Nobody's going to know why we're here. So solve your little fucking mystery. Go play with your little fucking books. I'm done. I'm done, motherfucker. Uh, And I'm going to encode thoughts uh, and just pull that out. Uh, and as I'm pulling that out, I add a little bit. Oh, and uh, you earn the cottage. That's what the keys are for. Go there. Just make sure that everybody is, uh, you know, at least not. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Burn it down. Uh, and I pull the <laughs> strand out. And it's just like this beautiful, like, uh, like lavender, purple, like glowing, sparkly. Uh, like gummy worm thing uh, and I throw it onto the floor uh, mm-hmm. and I turn into uh, what do I want my wild shape to be? Look around one more time, see if anybody's followed me. Roll, roll perception. <laughs> I guess guidance on myself. <laughs> one last time. One Maybe. Last. Hey, don't say that. You don't know me. <laughs> Twenty-seven. Um, you have a very good look, um, and your friends didn't follow you. There are uh, there <laughs> there is like a mother and a child just staring at you a little bit, like <laughs> like they have been say, there. Like there was a bear, and now there's a purse there. <laughs> it's like what? I point at them and I say, "Come here, come here, watch this, watch this." Okay. Come here. You, the, the mother, amazing. like, with her child, like, don't stick. No, you stay here. You stay. Okay. I take off my scarf and I, like, make a little nest. You could put your coins on that. The amazing Waterloo sunset, everybody. And I snap my fingers uh, and I turn into the cat. Okay. Uh, and I purr a little bit and I do a little dance and I hop up onto the fountain. Cat. And I lean into the fountain and I look at my reflection in the fountain. And I take a big fucking drink. All right. Okay. Um, All right. So, uh, Waterloo, you drink the water. I'm going to need you to make an intelligence saving throw. And uh, you may do this with advantage as you hear the echo what are you going to do? Okay, I'll make it with advantage. Sixteen. Sixteen. All right. Um, you're a cat. Yeah. 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 Um, with a 16, um, you. It takes a second. You hear cheering and 
but the, the cheering of like a small child and then kind of noises of like confusion and like disinterest as nothing else happens because you just drink out of a dirty fountain um <laughs> so and and the mother and child <laughs> like you hear the clink of uh you hear the clink of like coins uh and uh and and you hear these 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 people walk away um as a cat roll me um perception please Jesus. Uh 27. Oh yeah. Okay. So yeah, you uh you are sitting on the ledge of this fountain. A little confused uh about what's happening. Um and then you look down and you see this long silvery almost rain like multicolored strand on the ground. And it just immediately draws your attention, and you know that this you need this. Do I know who I am? Roll me, um, because with an intelligence saving throw of sixteen, like you haven't totally lost yourself, but you're a little confused. So go ahead and roll me, uh, insight. Oof, duh. That is an 11. You're... You, you've got a weird mix. It's like there's this weird mix of voices fighting in your head. Great, I take um, another drink. You take another drink? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, go ahead and you do that again. Um, go ahead and once again, uh, let's, do, let's do another intelligence saving throw. <laughs> eight this is backfiring you are uh well okay let's see with an eight all right with an eight with that intelligence you a very loud voice in your head is <laughs> muffled <laughs> almost like somebody has put a hand over it like okay and you feel you hear the voice now of your mentor all right, my sunshine. Time to get to work. Okay. Okay. How am I a cat? I truly. That's a great question. Um, you were going through it and you you did a thing and uh I think, hey, just imagine your body. Imagine being in your body. Just think about okay. it really hard. Are you doing it? Are you thinking really I'm hard? I'm doing it. Am I? Am I not a cat anymore? <laughs> um. All of a sudden, you. Because are you still on the ledge? I am. <laughs> Still on the ledge. <laughs> you are you're on the ledge. Um, roll me a, a a dexterity saving throw. Oh, that's not good. That's a zero. That's a zero. <laughs> no, uh, that's I get a zero to. Oh no, that's okay, an. I was like, so um, it's, a, it's a one, so it's, it's not a, a zero. Worse. Okay. Okay. I mean, zero is bad, but okay. Hold on. Let's roll. Some zero is bad, there. but it's literally impossible for me to get a zero. Um, 
So I just rolled a d20, um, and it was going to be a above, below, on which direction you fell, whether it be back mm. or forward. You fall forward directly onto your face. Oh, god damn it. Off of the thing. Um, and you take uh, you take two points again. Like, we got, we got people falling no. off shit this session. <laughs> My nose fucking broken. Um, it, it's a little girl and the mom here. They Still? walked. They were very confused when the cat didn't do anything. Like, you became a cat, and that was very exciting. And then you sat there, and you drank dirty fountain water. And Ugh. then you didn't do anything. Oh, my head. Um, I'm going to, like, I say that I think I'm being very loud, because I'm very used to being alone. Um, and I sit up, and I, like, lean up against the fountain uh and i like wipe away whatever the hell like this water this makeup that's on my face and i just like wipe it away and i like feel like these things in my eyes and they like take out like these like 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 eat like sclera contacts just like rip oh my god um and take them out of my eyes and like wipe away this like this peach colored like foundation on my face. Um, and I look at what the fuck I'm wearing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I just shake my head and I like look around. Cause I vaguely remember there was something shining in the grass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and as you look down, uh, keeping that perception check, you do see the th a thread. Um, that really draws your attention that you, um, roll me, uh, an, uh, Arcana or, Arcana. yeah, go ahead and roll me Arcana. Uh, that is a 23. Um, you look down and you know that this is, you, you know, the spell you're like, Oh, okay. Okay. This is information. Yeah. I know what that is. Uh, I look around for my book and I just can't. Where the fucking Dillman? Where'd you go, buddy? Hello? Um, okay. Well, I know that cantrip. Uh, I just start speaking out loud to myself. Okay, so don't really remember nothing. I don't know where I am, but there's this glowing thing on the floor. Is that a good idea to pick up? Usually you'd answer me in this moment, but I guess you are nowhere to be seen. Well, might as well just read it. Uh, I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to cast encode thoughts on it to read the message. Amazing. And you hear this insane voice <laughs> just calling you fucker and <laughs> just like absolutely like this in like but like and then all of a sudden going oh but the cottage is here okay yeah the cottage is here you good go there it's all fine um uh <laughs> good luck you know like it's uh, very mean and sarcastic uh voice yelling at you from this encode thoughts so confused <laughs> okay i'm sorry uh, I don't know where I am. Um, everybody else. So do you s stay there for now or are you going to try to find the cottage? I'm going to, I'm going to start walking around. I'm going to start walking around to try to see if I find something familiar. Okay. All right. Um, so you also sat there for 30 minutes while everybody was talking about their uh, their their nights and like some theorizing and all that. So, um, Tez, you um, you had uh, home home, right? Back to your family's home to go and do all that. Um, technically, you would go in the direction of town hall. So do you go the the straight way to your home or do you avoid? Uh yeah, I, I mean I guess I would just go with the, like whatever is the normal or the fastest so if it if it um includes going by there, yeah. And then I would I would be keeping an eye out 
Okay. Oh, for either uh, a bear in a leather jacket uh, or Waterloo. Okay. Um, everybody else, uh, did what did you, so the plan was to meet up at the bowling alley for a lunch. Uh, does everybody else, what does everybody else want to do? I think Isha, Isha's a little concerned. Um, she's not quite as like numbed to the chaos of Waterloo sunset. So, um, she's like, she feels a little bit more strongly about going and like seeing, but does, what does Kaylee, what do Kaylee and Snips want to do? Uh, Kaylee wants to talk to Snips actually, and to tell him, so about this TV thing, there's this thing about it. It's called the home shopping channel. Yeah. Yeah. Where you, so it's not just a black box Are the little people in that one too. Yeah. And these little people, you can call them on the phone. And you can say, give me that thing. And they'll give you the thing that they showed you. They'll like, give it to me through the black box? No, they'll send it to you. And later it'll just show up at your door. I might have to turn on the black box after Isha goes to bed. I don't want to scare her. That's but good. I might want to buy things. Do yeah, I need to actually good. give them money or do I just ask for it and they give it to me? Uh, someone has to give them money, yeah. I don't want to give them money. That lady at the, the... Well, I suppose she turned out to be a night hag, so that didn't work out well. Mm. I want to try it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is when we we uh we smash cut to Kaylee's secret warehouse where she's stockpiling just the most random <laughs> shit from the home shopping network. <laughs> so many slap chops. Um it's like a boat yeah. trailer with no boat. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. A jet ski with no way to pull it. Just the jet ski. <laughs> Look, they they have they definitely have a jet ski. There's no lake anywhere nearby. Yeah, but, hey, it's pond. like a landlocked place with a jet ski. <laughs> Maybe on the in the pond in Maligong Park. Yeah. Um, amazing. Um, okay, so uh, Isha and Tez definitely are kind of walking in that direction. Uh, Kaylee and Snips, was this conversation happening as you as there was like a a, a wander or a lull? A little yeah, lull. yeah. Okay. Um. So, uh, Tez, as you were kind of leading the charge of this like weird family walk, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> you uh, you could have driven, but anyway, there's uh, you do see um you do see a, a, a figure leaning against the fountain. Um, and it looks, it looks like Waterloo, but there is a weird vibe coming off of this person. Sorry. I, I feel like you just said it looks like Waterloo, but there's a weird vibe and that just didn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can I roll an inside check? Yeah. You know, listen, when I say it's a weird vibe with Waterloo, it's got to be a it's weird bad. Vibe. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's a 26. A 26. Um uh there you you have definitely um in both lives become very good at reading body language and like kind of see like seeing what you're going to be going against like from afar so you like know what problem you're going to have to be dealing with um this is the energy that is coming off of this uh off of waterloo is subdued is gone like there's there's no like showmanship there's no like you're so used to him being insane in public guys i think he fell in the fountain uh i'm wet 
Yeah, he is fully wet too. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damp. Yeah, he, tur- he turns to, to the group. He's like, guys, I think you fell in the fountain. Oh. This is possibly the best thing that could have happened. What is that? What does that do again? I thought you oh, said like- if he's going to fall in the fountain, he died. He's not dead. Well, he's right there. Well, yeah, that would have been slightly less good, but this is the best outcome. He fell in the fountain and he's alive still. So we still have a useful person, um, but he's not Waterloo anymore. He's probably doesn't remember much of his okay. fake life. Uh, I'm going to be real honest with you. I don't know if you've picked this up from me, Kaylee. I'm not super good with people, so maybe you should take the charge on this one. <laughs> no, I am ready for this build your own Waterloo session. Yeah. Yeah, let's do some <laughs> let's do some real fucked up psychology. Build a Waterloo. Uh, okay, okay, I'm gonna start, guys. I'm gonna He's start Pavlov like, training. Maybe him. I should talk to him. Like you are all a little okay. Um, Isha like walks up and like kind of crouches in front of you, uh, uh, and says uh, Waterloo uh, in front of you and goes, "Hello." You all right? Uh, I think his head is down. You kind of like see his like like black horns that are different than like his normal like antlers. Like they're just like goat horns, like like black, like and jarring and like jutting out of his forehead. Uh, and as he like looks up, it's almost like his skin is like been like peeling off. Uh, but it is just like a fuck ton of caked makeup um, because his skin is like 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 almost like a purplish, like pale hue. Uh, And as his eyes meet her, uh, the whites of his eyes are completely black uh, and his irises kind of glow red uh, as they sit in the void that are his sockets. I'm sorry. Um, Yes, I do need some help. Could you tell me where I am? Uh, okay, that's a very difficult question to answer. Um, You're in hell, buddy. Oh, I'm so sorry. I haven't introduced myself. Did you say hell? Yep. That's the Did word you be more specific? Uh, uh, we can't because you screwed us over. Um, you- I've never met you. I, I am really. Uh, I've never met you all before, but it's very nice. To meet your acquaintance, I hope. Uh, sorry, we've to heard him rude, talk in this voice before, though. Remember, yeah. you have heard yeah. him. Snips, you have absolutely heard him. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then he yelled at me and told me to never talk about it again. But I'm gonna talk about it again. <laughs> <laughs> you are all saying some very interesting tales. Uh, my name is Mister Sunset. I, 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 I'd, I'd be happy to to help you if you need so, but I do not know where I am currently. We already told you you're in hell. Yeah, but you weren't specific. So it's, hell is made up of nine layers, correct? Uh, each yes. layer representing a, a different part. I actually that... was specific about why we can't be specific. And the truth is because you fucked us over. So, so you, you do need not... to fix it by helping us. Okay. Okay. I can. That's kind of my job. But this is water from the river Styx. That's why you don't know where you are. Um, and maybe there's some confusion about your memories or time over the last however long. Um, I would imagine there was some form of self sabotage just knowing you pre fountain dip. Um, so I'm sure as you came to, I mean, that's probably why you're wet, or I don't know, you like had like a cut or you hurt yourself somehow that does that sound right maybe you fell on your face pointing to your bleeding nose i did Um, did fall on my face i also was a cat you're a very smart kid uh i appreciate you give it to me straight also kind of not a kid but thank you i'm not a kid i apologize okay yeah, we're all in uh we're all trapped in hell and some weird fucked up thing. 
where we're like not ourselves. And I think that you washed away the version of not yourself. Very apt. That makes sense to me. Yeah, we're trying to put it together. We were trying to put it together yesterday, and you were like, fuck you all. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to stay here. <laughs> okay, that sounded like... Yeah. Uh, is that we would love to have your help uh, figuring out exactly where we are in hell because this part of, of hell has been, as you can see, turned into uh, its own little world uh, called Gillyton, uh, where we have been given false lives. And uh, it, since you have shed your false life, perhaps you will be Ha uh, able to have a interesting point of view on things. Yeah, well, the girls and snips can fill you in while we walk. I need, I, I desperately need a shower. I had to stay up watching you all last night because you were essentially, um, I don't even know. I'm not sure. Like some sort of mental breakdown happened. The other, the other, Mister Sunset had a had a breakdown. I, I did receive a, a thought strand or I found one in the grass and there was some crazy man speaking. Yeah, about, you, were that, you were definitely that crazy man. Okay. Well, if he fucked you over, he said he lied about the, the, the runes and that he knew which level we were on. That motherfucker. I really want to drown you in that fountain right now but oh i don't think I understand that, that you are not responsible for what happened and whatever <laughs> kind of psychotic break this is um we will i guess help you through it as long as you don't try to fuck us over and this isn't some elaborate trick and then tess slaps him in the face <laughs> okay <laughs> and you are really bad at this whole letting me talk to him thing <laughs> <laughs> I told roll, you I'm really roll, bad with people. Roll, roll to attack. <laughs> it's, I got, I'm not yeah, it's, I yeah. know, it's a twelve plus something. I think it's it's, right. I have a ten. Yeah, yeah, I just, I just try to do the minimum amount, and it's more to see his reaction, to see if like I see like a flash of Waterloo. So I'd also like to do like an insight. Okay. I poking the bear, so to speak. Great. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it was only an eight, 15. Yeah. 15. Um, yeah. Dude, uh, I, I'm going to assume I don't see a flash of, of old crazy eyes. It's not a flash of old crazy eyes, but what you see is a flash, uh, <laughs> a flash of something. It's, I think you would recognize it. It's like every single time you've ever crossed your mom, every time you've lied to her and she's found out every, and think of like the first time that Tez did that, I, like how substantial that feeling was. Because essentially, you've made a bargain by hitting this man, and you see that it's just like a twinge of like, of oh, I feel bad that he did that to me. Um, that hurt a lot. I am surprised by that. And now we are connected forever. And that might not be a good thing for you. Uh, I think he's all right. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. All right. This That's un... Uh, I had okay. to check? No, you didn't have to check by slapping him. We could have actually done this thing where we actually introduce ourselves again because Mr. Sunset has said who he is. And... All you've said is you fucked us over. Hi. I'm Snips. I'm Isha. I'm Tez. That's Tez. Kaylee. And yes, uh, we had a little bit of an experience with you. Um, obviously, you don't know what's happening. But hopefully we can we have a plan uh so if you come along later in a bit like we can all uh, tez love go 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 do your thing well hey since we're here though do you think we should see what city hall looks like inside <laughs> <laughs> 
this? Kaylee's like, not at all. Um, <laughs> go ahead and roll perception. Oh. Uh, it's 17. While this is happening, I'd like to walk up to Mr. Sunset and hold his hand and go, we used to drive into the police station in a pink car together. You're a grown man holding my hand. Yes. <laughs> this is how friendships are made. Don't look at me like that. Okay. Gee, ask next time you touch me. That might be dangerous. Um, it's very nice. What is a car? Uh, it's a big metal thing with wheels. That didn't help me at all. Do you know what a cart is? Yes. A metal one with wheels that drives by itself. Like a, like in a mine? Yes, but it goes by itself. Isha like magic. motions yeah. for you. Like she kind of waves and then motions to a car driving by. That's yeah, not a that. car. I, I said it's the closest thing I could think of. I take my hand away and I'm like, I don't know which water blue I like most now. <laughs> uh, with a 17, um, it is uh, uh, it, it is eerily quiet in Town Hall. Um, and go ahead and roll uh, Insight. And if you want to use uh, Coatly for the Oh, it fell off. Ooh. Ooh, but dang, it's 19 and a 17. I'm rolling hot today. I'm sure it's going to be great when the ones start coming again. <laughs> Remember the time I rolled a negative two? That was good. I love that. Good. It was a good that was session. Such a good time. Um, yeah, 26. 26. Okay. Um, I don't think you, I think this was just Waterloo that experienced this, but like, so you are looking around and you're like, it is eerily quiet at town hall. You, you do realize I'm not hearing police sirens. I like, it is, it is a very like, it's off. Like it's something is like, it, it feels like something is like breaking down within this space. Um, yeah, guys, I don't think that was good what we did yesterday. Uh, but sure. If you guys want to fill uh water, in, I'm going to go really I, to be clear. I, was trying to sneak upstairs and the sounds of murder flowed up to me. Go. We'll meet you at this place that... Oh, wait. Have I been there? I don't know. Kay Kaylee, you know where we're going. Oh, I know. Yeah. Okay, great. Is this yeah. a place with the slushies and the nachos? Yeah. I remember, but it's good. What? Uh are slushies and nachos. I am also confused, but I've heard I mean it's 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 a it as you can go. But yeah, it's like there's like you walk away to like the act like like truly the blind leading the blind when it comes to like trying to explain like he's just like it's like food but not any kind of like nutritional value like it's strange that I've heard about, but um, during this time, uh, uh, I think that Isha also has the thought to like, let's move away, shall we? Like, let's move away from the fountain, um, <laughs> just in case. Um, and uh, you guys can find like, there's a park like in the town square. So there's places where you can guys like sit and have a conversation if you want to do it there. Um, but uh uh, Isha, with the help of Kaylee and Snips, like piece together what they know. So, like the fact that there's a door with infernal runes in the basement of that big building over there, and uh, it um, the fact that you you there was a contract that was found. So, infernal contracts are somehow involved in this, and uh, the the um, Isha, I think Isha and Kaylee both share the fact that the uh, Tez's theory of like maybe they maybe we got sold out. Like, you know, there's a couple working theories that people are working on. 
uh, as far as how and why you guys are here now. So you're filled in as much as you can be. And if there's, is there anything else anybody wants to do before we skip to the uh, <laughs> roller roller rink arcade fun time? No, nope. I'm good. I think I'm good. Okay. All right. So um, you all arrive uh, at uh, at this at this large uh, for you, uh, Mr. Sunset. You guys, it's large nondescript building but as you walk in it is just truly a cacophony to your senses it is insane lights and like there's a mirror ball so like that's going and there's music and off the side there's like these things and bells and clanks and, and all these things from these weird like, constructs um that are flashing and it's very strange, and but then and then and like a weird like this is the senses the smells are insane. It smells like oils and feet <laughs> and sweat and uh, like yeah motor oil, just all these different things. But also like sugar, like syrupy, like like saccharine weirdness and uh, <laughs> like meats. But like no meat you've really ever smelled. And it's just a very strange mix of things. Um and so uh Tez uh Kaylee or whoever, uh as you walk in, what is the first thing you're wanting to do? Like where are you where what's how where do you want to go with this? Well, um, as everyone is uh, looking for where you sit, I'll, I'll sort of guide people to a, a booth to sit in. Uh, and as I'm doing that, I'm putting my hair back into a ponytail and uh, stretching out a little bit. And this, this puts like two dollars of quarters on the table. Perfect. Thank you. I came prepared this time. Hmm? I came prepared this time. <laughs> John and is she, she is off to the DDR machine. Yes. Snips is going with Kaylee. I thought yes, so cool. We can get on the other the other the other pad and we can do doubles. It's gonna be amazing. Uh, yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> those are those are the coins of the souls of the damned that that can power infernal machines. I, no, actually, it's, it's, it's like, they're really, they're just money. It's just the money here, and those are games. Apparently, like this is wild. This is insane. But like no, stickball. Like, uh, or like the night it, games. It's like I. There literally is no comparison that we can have. Are there like jousting it's, tournaments? But like, but like on your own, like you do it. Like it, it looks like it's you just against a. It's like if it's like if you were it's like if you were playing chess with a construct or with a like a like a like a like a golem or something like that, like something something man like man made, competing like against an infernal a, machine. Yeah. Little bit, but like not as ominous. It could be ominous. Maybe that's some actually hmm. some sort of mage's tower we're in, but like an a, a realm of an arch devil. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I thought you. Um, no, no, I don't. Okay. I don't play the dancing game. I also would never leave you alone with my wife. What an interesting thing to say, sir. It's a hard reputation to earn. Why are we here? <laughs> I. Oh, wait. Is Kara? Is Kara here? 
she like looks over towards the main area. Um, let's see. Let's see if Kara's around. Um, and from out of like a back office, like from like the shoe rental area, you kind of see the flash of a small a, a small woman back there. Kara is back there. Um, Kaylee, I'm gonna need you to roll me. Um, uh, what did we do last time? Acrobatics. <laughs> yeah. I can do that. And I also, if I'm doing doubles with Kaylee, yeah, obviously. Oh, yeah. I've never done this in my life, and Snips does not dance, so we'll see. Nineteen. Yeah, you're doing great. You're just dancing it out like you gotta. Oh, that's a three. Snips, listen, you got little legs. <laughs> you got little legs. You're trying. You're really just having a good time, and like, but like the machine is yelling at you, like <laughs> fail, fail, fail. <laughs> I'm stomping. It's just so angry. For all but... I know, I'm doing great. Yeah, you. Yeah, the the words of the machine yelling at you are not registering. Um, <laughs> and, and Kaylee is absolutely destroying you uh, as far as like actually winning. But yeah, next to you, Kaylee's like in the zone. Um, um <laughs> let's go. Yeah, holding on to the back. <laughs> Just <laughs> gonna make sure. Gotta keep up. Um, okay. Uh, all right. So, Mr. Sunset. Um, some. There's somebody here that might know information. Uh, she is a night hag. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't, I don't know what she knows. I don't know if we can trust her. She's, you just looking at Tez like. Probably not. Mean, what do we do? Um, I don't know what else. There was something about a bird man. Yeah, the the manager here I think fits the profile like the mayor, um, and uh, and the the sheriff of people with like a lot more means, seemingly and like stuff like he had a bunch of treasures and shit in his office, and oh. I mean he is kind of a raven, which makes sense a little bit. But what if in a lot of that, like, that's part of the contract as, like, one of the jailers. He gets, like, to keep a lot of shiny the, stuff. The contract. Yeah, here. Uh, and he pulls out his backpack and hands over the lockbox. This is the stuff that you read, and then you were like, fuck you. I hated my life. We're <laughs> never leaving. All right. All right. All right. Love. Okay. We get it. You're mad. Like, let's move on. This is not productive. <laughs> uh, no, but this belonged to a Noel, we think. Somebody who was here, who was trapped here. This was in his belongings. Yeah, and there was another, uh, he was a half orc? The sheriff? The sheriff was a hobgoblin. Oh, that's right, hobgoblin. Yeah, mm, that's right. Uh, and there was a hobgoblin sheriff who uh, we don't really know because he was murdered before we could question him. Also, we don't really know the whole deal with the sheriff because he was murdered before we could question him. Um, and so I Following the pattern, I think it's a good lead to see if the Kenku's got some weird stuff going on. If there's any any uh, fiendish or devilish stuff in there, in his office. Okay. Con Can I take a look at this contract? Yeah, go ahead. Um, do, uh, what languages does Mr. Sunset know? Common giant and infernal. Awesome. So yeah, so you can read um, the contract for sure. Uh, the um, 
the rest of the documents, like so, so uh, Tez like pushes forward a bunch of stuff. Uh, one of these things is a contract um, that you see. Um, the others are uh, just some like it's a it's a broken mix of like common and you know it's just like kind of a journal of a null chief. Um, but uh, go ahead and roll me an investigation on this contract if you want to read it. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Okay. Um, yeah, you uh, you read through it um, in Infernal. Um, you do see that mm -hmm. it is a contract between um, this person. Um, let me make up a name because I should really have named the, the mayor, but he's always just been Mayor Ardwolf. So uh, we'll call him Chieftain Ardwolf. <laughs> <laughs> but uh bob uh bob uh bob bob ardwolf um no he's uh um and how and obviously it has to be um with somebody um and it is with uh, a very high up demon called belial belial do i know anything about belial uh, roll me a history check. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Um, uh, you know that Belial is attached to the fourth level of mm. the nine hells. Um, the deals. Yep. Uh, you also know that uh, he likes to work in um, a political intrigue uh, and things of that nature. Um, you also know that he, the, you also know that the fourth level has a very interesting situation where there is not just a single duke. He shares the dukedom with his daughter. Mm -hmm. And that can be uh, a point of contention and a point of it, it's complicated to say the least. Uh, I think I just like read it out loud in Infernal. And then you guys hear this weird like truly upsetting <laughs> actually no one yeah kaylee's in the zone kaylee's not hearing anything kaylee is uh, happy as the plan <laughs> I'm just okay dancing. okay that makes it's kind of what i suspected deals <laughs> okay that makes a little more sense fourth level we're all up in the red tape of hell which I'm fairly glad of. I've made a couple deals in my time, as us fey folk tend to do. But a night hag might be very beneficial to us. They're really good at finding loopholes. So we should call her over? Uh, I think so. Didn't you want to? I don't know what's going on here. I'm just kind of going along with the information that's given to me. I honestly yeah. kind of new to this too. Um, you didn't. You didn't know any of this, correct? No. Nope. Okay, you could go talk to, to Birdman about his contract or talk to the Night Hag about uh well, let's go breaking. talk to let's go talk to Kara or I'll bring her over here and then we'll find out if Bird Boy is here and if he's not, I'll just break into his office and search it. Um or actually I think that Kaylee would be really good at that. 
Um, but let's go. I'll go. Yeah, I'll go talk to Kara, and that way I can get some nachos for Snips too, and a slushy. I wouldn't I? eat the food down here. It's fine. Okay. Should I go get Kaylee? Oh, yeah, yeah. If you could get Kaylee and Snips. Okay. All right. Well, I'll go. Okay. Yeah. Are you are you good, uh, Mr. Sunset? Or, I mean... Uh, no. Relatively speaking. I mean, listen, none of us are good, but... Are you stable? Enough. Good. I'd like to change these wet clothes if we get a chance. Oh, yeah. We should go to the cottage after this. I, I, I mean, I don't know. Excuse me? Do you know where my cottage is? Yeah. We were... Why? Who told you? You, you did? Yeah. Everybody knows where your cottage is. You were invited to the cop. Yeah. Um, yeah, a bunch of people. People go in all the time. It's... Okay. It's a shop that serves drinks and food. Yeah. They're really bad, like, brews and concoctions. Absolutely not. There's also a Spider-Man. Not a, like a, not not to be confused with a man spider, but a man you, made of spiders. You, you've there. you've all been there. Yeah. Yeah, like a lot. Must, I slept there last night. You time. must sleep. read very carefully within those walls. There is a large wealth of eldritch power that lies is intrinsically entied to who I am and my power. And if it disturbed could destroy the whole of the that's why I keep it in the woods why is it why are there it's not good yeah um oh I'm starting to wow he really the was yeah like that's a was, super conversation he needs to have with himself yeah that's I mean, that yeah he's that, like he's projecting a lot on us right now but that's his own you know uh, like, so I just you were get the some sock ones that or something it might be better. I'm very used to being alone. I apologize if I'm acting strange. Cool. I'm going to go get Kara. Yeah. I don't think this is necessary. You were really strange before in, in kind of a scary way. So I think this is better. I think. Listen, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go talk to um, Kara, uh, uh, to Kaylee about breaking into a place. Okay, I'm going to cast a spell on this table. Is that allowed here? There's a lot of magic going on, so I assume the answer is yes. Yeah, um, yeah, I think you can cast whatever magic you need to. Okay, I, I definitely remember this one. Uh, I'm going to take out one of my teeth uh, and then like use uh, one of my fingernails to start like drawing uh, a spell in blood on the table. Love it. I'm going to start to ritually cast Find Familiar. Okay. <laughs> I'm so curious. Um, <laughs> uh, Isha goes, okay. Um, and <laughs> goes over and is, <laughs> and is watching, is watching intrigued by whatever is happening with this dancing game. Um, and when it gets to a point where it's stopped, Isha is, is like, I, I have so many questions, but I don't think we have time. Uh, Kaylee, do you want to have just a sneaky peek at what uh, is hidden in... Apparently there's a a raven man's office here. In my language, yeah. I, I like that. Also, I just got an S+, plus, so I'm feeling pretty good. Got riding high off of that. Would love to. Uh, would love to do some uh, searching of people's valuables for you. I got an F. Is that good? Um. Yeah. I think I killed it. Did you have fun? Yes. Then that's all that matters. Um, Maybe the F stands for fun. Yes. Yeah, there you go. You had an. You had F for fun. Um, uh, uh, Isha reaches out to you, uh, Kaylee, and puts a hand on your shoulder and goes, I'm just, I'm so glad, I'm so glad 
that you feel good about what happened. Like she's like trying to be. She's like, I don't understand anything you just said, but I'm so happy for you. And cast guidance on you. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> you got you have a guidance. Um, uh, you've been in this office. I feel like you were in there. Uh, actually, I don't. For a second, I'm hearing. Yeah, yeah Dave, is that the piano? The piano? Oh, is that? Oh, I can't hear it. <laughs> like, oh, give me, sorry, give me one second. Yeah, I was, I, I can, I can mute everything. Except, I was like, the piano is very distracting. That was <laughs> the old timey piano. <laughs> just, just, just the player piano in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I could hear it. On my phone, so. <laughs> it's, it's okay. I was like, I was doing, I was doing okay until the player piano. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, um, uh, I, I believe. So I know that Tez has been. Tez and Snips have been back here. Um, Kaylee, were you also involved in sneaking into this? I don't think so. Okay. All right, um, Snips, you uh, do, uh, um, you have been back here. So go ahead and um, roll me uh, history with advantage because you, you, you done did this before. That's a nine. My God. Um, advantage. <laughs> listen, I'm glad I gave you advantage because... <laughs> Yikes. It could have been um, free. <laughs> um, okay, so it takes you a second because Kayla's like, no, oh my god, I I'm tired. I'm so sorry. Isha is uh is like, I don't know where anything I was a statue up until about a week ago. So like who knows? Um, but uh uh snips, you try to describe how you got into this office because it is kind of a weird like you you push a button on this <laughs> to get in here you basically had to push a a, a button on a pinball on machine, a pinball machine yep. and it moved the pinball machine to reveal a door yes um so with a nine it just takes you a bit to remember which one of the shiny box boxes is the one who that did this but you do ultimately find it and uh the uh, the the thing slides aside um uh kaylee uh i'm assuming you want to be stealthy so go ahead and roll me some stealth Fourteen. okay all right um uh snips are you joining or are you going to uh the the uh siren call of nachos if i can smell the nachos i'm going toward the nachos uh ro roll me a uh roll me a perception okay that's an 18 y yeah you smell all kinds of like i again, smell the fakest cheese so much plasticky cheese Yes. Um, okay, so you kind of you, you did your job. You told Kaylee where to go, and you're like, food. You're very Hot speed. You're very um, food driven. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, Kaylee, with a fourteen, um, you slip into uh, this uh, entrance and find yourself in a hallway. Um, there does there's no one in the hallway. Uh, if you would like to, but there is um, about like three doors in this hallway uh, that you can see. Um, so what would you like to do? Uh, all right. So it's a hallway with three doors. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to go to the first door and I'm going to check it for traps. Okay. Go ahead and uh, roll investigation. Oh boy. Go ahead and add... Well, no, because that's not like a proficiency thing. Yeah, just roll. Seven. Seven. Okay. No, it's just a door. Um, it does cool. appear it, it it does appear to be locked. So if you want to, uh, yeah, you're gonna pick that lock. Pick that lock. 
now you get to use your proficiency. <laughs> yeah, 21. <laughs> 21. You it, it is it is such an easy lock. Um so you open it um and uh uh do you go in or do you want to roll do a check? Do you check to like do you pop your head in? Uh no, I'm feeling I'm feeling good. I'm riding a high. I'm I'm just going in. You're on that. Oh, and don't forget you have guidance. Uh yeah, yeah. so you can use it on something. Um okay, so uh you go in and um this is not you 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 remember hearing about like this like almost like Alibaba's cave of treasure kind mm -hmm. of vibe. This is not it. Um this is uh full of um it's it's like full of storage and filing cabinets and things like that but there is a lot of like uh it looks like there would be a lot of paperwork in here and a lot of like information almost like a library is here okay uh i look for locks i look for what looks like it would be important and thusly protected okay um so you're looking for things that would be protected um roll me another investigation all right so bad at investigation <laughs> i'm gonna use my guidance all right uh so that's 15 Okay. All right. Awesome. Okay. So, um, uh, you do kind of peek through things and like, there's a desk. So you kind of look at things that are on the desk. It all seems very like so mundane that it is almost like <laughs> making you glaze over of like, okay, it's just, it's like a, like a snowstorm of stupid pointless information um but then you you find a, a filing cabinet that is different it is it is sturdier it appears to be a little bit more solid in its make um and has a seems to have a more intricate locking system all right <laughs> i like a challenge now, I, I imagine I am drawn to this mm -hmm. lock like a bee to honey. Like, oh yes, my precious, let me let me open you <laughs> with consent. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> it likes it. Uh, yeah, I am rolling badly today. Fourteen. Kaylee's really riding that DD uh, DDR high that is truly unex unexplainable and unexpected. Um, uh, <laughs> you said you had a fourteen. Yeah, only a fourteen. Okay, okay. Um, it it takes you it 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 takes you longer than you want to admit. <laughs> you're 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 like really glad that it's just you because like you could just be in it be in it with yourself right now. Um, you do finally get the lock, uh, opened. Um, so you feel like the drawers could open. Uh, what do you do? Uh, so I got it unlocked. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll check again for traps because I'm feeling wary. Yeah. So investigation. Yeah. Come on. Natural 20. Oh my gosh. Love it. I love to see it. Okay. So you have it unlocked and you almost start to pull, uh, instinctively start to pull the drawer open and something makes you stop and you look around it again and you see this small like it would almost look like a like a spider web it's so like so small and so fragile but you do get the impression that if you had broken this then something could have happened um and that is 
but it appears to only be on the top. So it's a filing cap, like it's stacked. Mm -hmm. So it appears to only be on the top one, which is where the lock is. So with that, you would kind of think, okay, now that it's unlocked, I should be able to open all of them. Maybe I can go to a different, you know, like you, you, with a natural 20, you think that you could probably open the bottom two. You could open the bottom two without their, without triggering that. Uh, trap. Okay. Um, filing cabinet made out of metal. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but it's not like uh, the the rest of the filing cabinets in the room are that like weird cheap like like cheap filing cabinet that everyone like sees in like shitty office buildings so this one is like uh, it's more substantial it almost has like it's 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 thicker metal and like has almost rounded sides and it's it's again like this is the whole thing is not moving like it is a heavy solid piece of something almost okay. almost akin to like a safe like, I was say it's closer to a safe than a filing cabinet almost. Yeah, it, but it's a filing cabinet structure, but it definitely has yeah. like a, a, the feeling of a safe, yeah. Okay. All right, so yeah, so I'll open the bottom two and, and rifle through just to see if there's anything interesting in there. Okay, amazing. All right, um, so uh, as you open the... Um, you try to open the middle one and it doesn't work right away. Um, you open the bottom one and there's nothing in it, but you hear a, uh, a click. And when you open the second one, the, uh, the thing moves, the whole structure slides to reveal a little cove, little, a little like inner closet space. Well, hello. All right. What do we have here? Um, do you go in? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Awesome. Um, it is uh, my favorite thing to say. I never get to say it. It's dark. Do you have dark vision? <laughs> I don't. Yay! <laughs> it is a. It's very dark in this space. Uh, I will use press digitation to create a torchlight. Amazing. Okay. Um, as you, as you make this soft light appear, um, uh, which is very nostalgic because it is like, it's so different. It's so warm and like different from this like cold light that is everywhere, like fluorescent lighting. Um, so uh, as you go in, it's a very small space, like closet, like tiny. And um uh, go ahead and roll investigation. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> Stop. Come on. Yes, baby. Another natural 20. It's happening. Hey. Two in a row. Justice for Kaylee. <laughs> Justice for Kaylee. It had to happen. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> so um, you see a... Uh, uh, um, a wooden, a small wooden uh, table and on it, um, you, it, it's like a, a small wooden table and like a single chair. It's, it's actually a little sad. Um, but on that table, you see spread out um, what looks like uh, so there's a, um, uh, uh, what looks like a rough sketch of something of, 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 a of a bird person. Um, you see, um, notes, you see writings that are scrawled, um, 
it's hard for you to read it because even with that light that you have with prestidigitation, it's still pretty dark in here. Mm -hmm. And you're also trying to go fast. So, but you see, you see scrawled writing. Um, uh, you also see something in, did you get a look at the um, contract where you did, was that something that you actually looked at to, as far as like visually putting eyes on it? I don't think I did. Okay. Um, you, uh, you see, you see a lot of papers. Okay. Um, and I think it does strike you that there's a lot of, uh, this is, this kind of is giving the same vibe as what was found in that secret place in the mayor's office. Cool. Cool. Taking all the papers from the table. Um, um, you also find um, a couple uh, black feathers. Um, you find a, a small um, wooden carved uh, figurine um, that looks like it's very crudely carved. Um, uh, again, in the uh, it, it, it's giving, it's giving, like, you could almost be giving, like, Plague Doctor vibes, because it's got that, that, that same, like, that beak, but it's giving very much, like, uh, uh, some, a person with a bird, a bipedal bird person um, vibe, but again, it's very roughly carved, and um, you see, you find a um, small beaded like it's small for you as a human, but it could be, you know, depending on, depending on who it could be for, like, it could be a bracelet. Um, it could be, it's not something you could ever wear because it's so small, but like, it looks like some form of jewelry, but it, it, um, appears to be like, a uh, colorful, um, glass beads, uh, sitting there. Okay, I'm going to grab all of the papers. Okay. Uh, shove them in my underneath my shirt. Um, uh, and I'm going to touch the uh, beads and cast identify. Amazing. Okay. Uh, right. With identify, I need to remind myself what all it tells you. I th it doesn't uh, it it doesn't have I, I say that as I'm like, I know that it's not magical. Um, uh, these are just normal, like it is, is just mundane beads. Very okay. pretty, uh, very pretty, very uh, eye catching, especially in the firelight, in the prestidigitation light. Okay. Yeah. All right. Then I'm just going to take the papers and uh, leave. Okay. Do you leave everything else there, like the uh, all the little trinkets and items? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. fine. I'm not there for that. Awesome. All right. Um, so uh, you head out again. Um, go ahead and roll me another stealth check. Cool, cool, cool. Let's hope the luck still stands. Stealth. Where are you, stealth? There you are. Yeah, twenty-two. Amazing. Okay. Um, so you, you kind of peek out the door uh, to the main hallway. Um, there are two more doors. So um, do you want to, uh, again, like you heard about this treasure trove. Do you want to go and take a peek or what would you like to do? Ooh. I know I'm speaking your language. I, I do. I do. Look, I do. I do want to check. <laughs> But, but I've got, I've got what I've, I got what I came for, really. I, you know, there'll be other times. There'll be other times. Amazing. <laughs> Listen, that's growth, guys. That That's, that's character growth. <laughs> um, okay, so you slip back out um, into the cacophony. Um, while this is happening, um, Tez, you go and you uh, find you find Kara. Um, uh, she is <laughs> she's going like she's working. 
to an empty plate. Like there's no one here. It's just this like this cacophony of noise and she's just kind of hanging out and seemingly enjoying herself. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, what do you do? Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I think, uh, oh, Tez first asked for, hey, can I get some nachos and a Slurpee? Yeah, of course. Um, hey, where'd you go yesterday? I mean, uh, the, uh, that, the Waterloo was being insane i was getting out of the line of fire i already got hit by a desk yeah that was crazy um not gonna believe this waterloo is somehow weirder or it's like still like well that's not right he it's making but it's better it's different now um and he's helpful so he it, can you come he thinks you might be able to help us get out um okay. can okay. you come to the table oh does this mean jazzercise is canceled i hope so God, i kept fun. finding his little shorts all around the cottage i'm pretty sure he was just like throwing them towards richard and saying wash these darling <laughs> and then the, Richard wouldn't pick them up, and they would so there would just be these like sweaty shorts covered in goat hair, just like randomly in the cottage. That's fine. That's vile. It wasn't great. Okay, listen. This might be an overstep, but your mom has moves. Please don't. I'm not saying Please that don't. in any kind just, of weird way. I just like just she's don't cool. Be, like I don't. Look, I don't even know what's real. Is she like a formation, an amalgamation of the memories of my mom? Is it a full construct, like a, somebody else's narrative that is created and implanted in my memories? I don't know, but I don't. I just think it would be good if you maybe didn't mention her at all because we're still really not that cool. I, okay. Thank all you. Right. Am I doing am I doing the mix of the red and blue or am I what? Yeah, it's for it's for snips. All right, got it. Okay, cool. Um I I I'll find you in this insanely busy place. Um There's that one weirdo that's just always uh skates for a couple hours a day and us, so Yeah. Do you know where um Dave is? Uh, Have you no. seen him for like a couple of days? Has he been missing? To be fair, I never really paid attention to him. Yeah, tricks. All right. Yeah, yeah. See you over there. Yeah. Okay. I'll be there. I'll be there. Okay. And then he goes back to the table. Um. Uh. So, uh. Uh. uh Mr. Sunset, you have uh, cast find familiar. Um. What is mm -hmm. the cast time? What is what is the deal with that one? It's going to take eleven minutes. Eleven minutes. Um, okay, so uh, Tez, you walk back. That did not take 11 minutes to do. You walk back and you see uh, just truly um, blood on a table, uh, weird writing. Um, so he's he's weird. Um, <laughs> you're muted, but yeah, <laughs> you're still muted. You are, yeah. you are, you are absolutely there. We go. Okay. Um, <laughs> There's so many ways to just... mute your microphone. <laughs> He says, uh, yeah, I accidentally did both. Oh, <laughs> dumbass. Uh, uh, he just says, uh, right on, right on. And um, I did just tell someone you were still weird. So I feel like that. I wasn't lying. I'm just. Uh, I'm speaking in tongues and drawing on the table with blood. And yeah, I've he, just he, completely no... blocked you out. Yeah, there's no, there's no expectation of a response. He just, it was more of a. Uh, uh, a projection of an inner dialogue. The blood starts to smoke on the table. Uh, it doesn't smell Jesus bad. Probably, it smells Jesus like probably fine, right? Yeah, like teak this... and sage start to like waft up and like swirl around my head. Arcane casters are so creepy. 
yeah, it's uh, I mean, it's literally unnatural, so I don't know. yeah, it's weird. As my um, feather headed dragon serpent floats next to me, <laughs> <laughs> the blood starts to like pool, like the rune writing starts to just like decompose and like start to like form in like a long, like curved serpentine line, and the smoke. Like goes from around my head and just like wraps around the blood, uh, and then it like slowly starts to over the next couple of minutes like solidify into a coral snake, and the snake kind of just like slithers up my arm. Oh well, there you are, Ard. Missed you. Wonder where you've been. It's a snake. Yeah, it's always been a snake. Oh. Be careful though; he's very venomous. Yeah, we Wait, know. Isn't that <laughs> Ard, isn't that what he called that little chipmunk? What's a chipmunk? Uh, it's like a rat, but cuter. Oh, uh, Ard can make himself into many shapes or forms. He just needs some help when he's summoned. It, technically, he's a fey spirit. Huh. Yeah, uh, technically he's kind of a kind of an asshole too. Oh, oh, he's the sweetest thing. I don't know what you're talking about. As long as you're not on his bad side. No, that was you. I was that wasn't my opinion. You quoted that was a quote. That yeah, was, yeah. No, you're. You used oh, to be well, very, I mean, very um, opinionated, um, in like kind of a loud, mean way. He's. Me or the you, hard? You. Me. I I only saw this little woodland creature like a couple times making coffee. It was very strange. There was uh, quite a few exchanges of death threats between you and the cute rat. You could. Did you hear him? Yeah, he was, everybody heard him, right? Mm -hmm. You. I turned to like my sleeve. You spoke out loud. If a snake could like a snake, the snake did that Sir Hiss thing in Robin Hood where it like made shoulders and then shrugged. <laughs> well, you you surprise me every day, Art. Uh, I can't speak to that. I must say, I definitely wasn't myself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Snips, you walk up and you see a little uh, coral snake. Um, wrapped around uh, this new sunset man's arm. Um, and like Isha kind of helps boost you up uh, to be at the table. Um, With my slushy and my nachos. Correct? Not yet. It's the, but it's oh, all. Yeah. Way. Yeah. <laughs> so um, uh, uh, and after a moment, because again, none of this is real cooking. It's literally a button that you push and weird plastic cheese comes out of a, a nozzle. Um, Kara. As God intended. As God intended. That's the only way to get cheese. <laughs> um, uh, uh, Kara. Uh, <laughs> Kara walks up um, holding uh, nachos um, with like one half they she put like a bunch of jalapenos on the side because she like doesn't know what kind of vibe snips wants to have right now so wants to give the option of like not as spicy um and then so sh uh, she puts in front of you the nachos and the the largest size of the the uh slushy and says i did the mix red and red and blue yeah, he can have um, jalapenos if he wants, because it's it's still a while till his bedtime. So thank you. Yeah, just tell me and you'll he be just okay. Starts starts drinking Slurpee. Is he is he like is he like you, Tez? Like he's a he's a small child trapped in a man's body. All right, you're there's nothing small about this body. I'm two hundred and twenty pounds solid. Maybe no, no, maybe no. fifteen percent body fat. All right. Or the opposite of you. You're not small, oh, yeah. but you're you're young. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, He's no, old and acts young. I am nine years old. Snips you're, is a special. That's old. 
Yeah, for not a, yet. A goblin. Not for really, a I guess. You're, you're, I mean, it's like two thirds of your life expectancy. Yeah, <laughs> you're, you're a man. Do you say that out loud? Because I'm gonna have to have Smith <laughs> roll a wisdom saving throw at that. Yes, shit. please. <laughs> yeah, yeah, done. Yeah, roll Ted has no. I was gonna say, I, no, had, I don't think he would, but that's a third no. of your life. That's <laughs> you only got a little bit left. <laughs> that's a 26. Episode you're, four in which Snips confronts his mortality. <laughs> Yeah, I will say I've been like Smith, Melora, I mean, life and death. Very intricate deals with goblins half your age. Yeah, yeah, I think the um, I think the the statistics are skewed though because you goblins tend to die non natural reasons, so there's no reason to believe you couldn't be in a humanoid live. I don't know, 40, 50, 70. I mean, I'm not afraid to die, I just like what I'm doing right now. I know, but I, I'm I mean, afraid of you dying. Um, Mr. Sunset, you see a um, what appears to be a human, uh, a small Asian human uh, girl, uh, teenager, young adult, whatever, um, next to you. Um, and uh, she looks you over and goes, what's this? What's this about? I cock my eyebrow at her. Hey, do you think I'd ever answer your questions? Oh, I miss Waterloo. Mm. He seemed a bit eccentric. Yeah, that's why I liked him. Eccentric and excessive. Um, I'm not going to lie. I liked it better, too. He used to tell me how lovely I was all the time. Yeah. Now he just tells me not to hold his hand. Listen, he got a little gaslighty sometimes, but, like, you know, I could kind of deal with that because a I knew he was gaslighty. <laughs> Sorry. That's not Tez, that's me. <laughs> a little <laughs> gaslight. He's just a little narcissistic a little antipersonal disorder. Listen, just a little bit. She's a night hag. She's like, I go to people's dreams and destroy them. So like, same, babe. <laughs> You're low. Just a tiny bit of toxicity. It's just like the little, it's like, a, it's like the, like, mwah. it's just a little spice. Anyway. Uh, What's but your yeah, name? He's helpful now. Kara. He gave it so freely. It must not be real. <laughs> yeah, of course. Why would I give you my real name? You can call me Kara. Yeah, yeah you, you can never call me Mr. Stone's creature your, your real name, right? What? You never give a fake creature your real name. I gave one my real name, name, and now we're stuck together forever. <laughs> if you want to fight Isha over me, good luck. That's That's your call. I'll let it's that no settle fight. itself out. Most of you gave me your name on first contact, but I'm not holding it to you. Help me out. Suggest you don't do that in the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're kind of not in your in the Fey Wild, though, right? So the no, you're in a worse place where names mean probably even more and are tied to your soul and not deals that you can make fancifully. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. I don't even know if that's my real name. Well, that's good. If it is, it's bad. <laughs> okay. And I lean over. Who's closest to me? Is it Isha? Yeah. Isha, like, I lead back to Isha and go, I need you to help me make up a fake name. I think it's, I think it's too late for that. But well, we'll I mean, work if on I it. talk to anybody else in the we'll, future, we'll, we'll work. You. We'll workshop it, yeah. <laughs> what about <laughs> clips? <laughs> Gerald. <laughs> Gerald. Just the Reginald. most like, geriatric old man name. Yeah. Reggie. <laughs> Reggie. Um, okay. Um, uh, okay, so what's up? What's what's going on? Like, what is this? What are we doing? We're in the fourth layer of hell. What did yeah. you, who did you piss off? Uh, I mean... Who did you piss off that lived? Who did I piss off that lived? That Bonus is a shorter is a goblin. shorter list. Bo shorter or bonus points for goblinoids. I have a bugbear enemy. Jess, there's Jess. Sorry. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Who? 
Uh, that's Snips is fake. It's name. a great yeah. fake name. Yeah, yeah. It's a great, <laughs> fake name. great name. It's the um, best alias ever. Snips, uh, sn- or Reggie. Yeah. Um, Reggie has an enemy who's also a Boblin the Goblin. And uh, I don't know. We're just we're reaching for straws here. Trying to find commonalities. I tell you, commonality. Hmm. Something that is true in all the planes of existence. If you're able to cast, so I can see you changed your form, you have to draw your power from something. What is that? Mm. No, thank you. Um, Who have I pissed off? I mean, there was a couple people in my coven that weren't fans. Mm. You're a fucker, aren't you? I mean, you used to be one. I don't know who this person is, but you were the same. Yeah. Um, see, because I've, like, I've had this dream... Of knowing I was like riding out towards something. So I don't even. I, maybe the guy is tied to it, my old partner, and maybe not. Maybe he set me up. But there was something I was going towards, I remember. And it was like in a forest or a jungle area. Is that uh, anybody? Nothing? Um, if everybody wants to roll, uh, with the exception of Kaylee, because Kaylee is having, Kaylee, you're having an amazing th- multiple nat 20s in uh, a secret uh, office. So uh, everybody else, if you want to roll uh, a history check to see what you remember from your time before. I got a 15. Okay. Mr. Sunset, are you leaving it alone? I'm going to leave it alone. Okay. All right. Um, uh, Snips, with your 15, you... uh, uh, With your 15, you... um, Definitely uh, remember there being um, not so much you were going towards something, but uh, you were sent somewhere. Like you were asked to come somewhere. And then that's what you remember. Ooh, okay. All right. Um, Anybody else? Uh, Tez, did you, did you want to roll anything else? Your other thing is muted too. Sorry, you said wisdom, right? Uh, history. His oh, history. Sorry. Natural one. Nope. You you remember what you remembered. Um. Yeah. So um, with that, let's see what Isha is. Um, Isha. Uh, also. Uh, oh. Isha, uh, yeah. Uh. 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 uh Tez. Like nudges Quotely and is like help her out. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, uh, Isha kind of shakes her head, and I didn't so much feel like I was being drawn to something. I had a mem. I I remember feeling like something bad was coming. Like I had a flash of something bad was going to happen to you, so I followed. And Kara looks and says, she kind of looks around everybody and goes, I remember being here. I remember being where I was. Um, 
And then all of a sudden I was literally over there. Um, and that is where we're going to pause for the night as this remembering of trying to remember everything before. So ah, thank you guys. Uh, come back and ah. meet Mr. Sunset. Uh, and uh, we'll see what happens uh, in the next session of uh, Welcome to Gillington. Mr. Sunset's <laughs> got to change his clothes. Is heating up. <laughs> ah.